wpsites.net. Let's take a look at adding a responsive widget with a responsive background image into any Genesis child theme. So let's take a look at the demo site. And I've hooked it in after the header so you can use any Genesis hook. So that's easy to change. And I've also used a conditional tag to exclude the front page so you can change that as well. So this will display on every page excluding the front page. Uh, I've just added a text widget after header and a bit of HTML in there with uh, the button class. And I've also added a short code for the breadcrumbs because the member of WP Sites wanted to display the breadcrumbs over the image. And I know I could have done that with CSS, but I thought I'd do something a little bit different. So um, let's check the mobile responsiveness of it. There's a fair bit of padding added. You can change that in the CSS. That's really easy to do. So, so that's pretty much it. it. It basically makes the widget area and the, uh, the widget content and the background image responsive. Um, and the image is added uh, automatically from the child themes images folder. Um, however, here it is here, you can remove it and add your own image. So you can add that from your media library or upload a new image. Otherwise you can use the default. So, so that's a pretty nice addition to it. Um, if you're wanting the code for the short code to display the breadcrumb crumbs over the image. Here it is here. I've published that just after the responsive widget background image tutorial. So all the code supported for members at WPSites.net and if you need any installation or modification support that's included in membership. Thanks for watching. See you next time on WPSites.net. Cheers.